Do you guys remember Megyn Kelly? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you do? Uh, if you, if you don't, she was the woman at Fox who Roger Ailes sexually harassed. Uh, well, one of them, one of them. Uh, and last night was the premiere of her new show on NBC, and she landed a blockbuster interview with the Russian president and professional nipple model, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> and you know what, guys? Kudos to Megan, because she did not hold back. You have repeatedly and passionately denied that Russia was behind the interference with our American <clears throat> presidential election. But as you know, the consensus view in the United States is that you did. Many Americans hear the name Vladimir Putin, and they think he runs a country full of corruption, a country in which journalists who are too critical could <clears throat> wind up murdered, a country in which dissidents uh, could wind up in jail or worse. To people who believe that, what is your message? <laughs> Did you hear that throat clear? <clears> throat> I was waiting for him to be like, my message is, would you like to have a drink of water? <laughs> but it's not water. <laughs> you could tell that Megyn Kelly was getting under Putin's skin. <laughs> you could tell. Because he quickly went from friendly to frenemy. There were no meetings. Yes. I... You understand? There were no meetings. I have no idea. I'm being completely honest with you. I don't know. That's complete nonsense. Do you even understand what you're asking? Well, this is just another load of nonsense. Have you all lost your senses over there? You people are so creative over there. Good job. Your lives must be boring. Oh, wow. Wow, your lives must be boring. Wow. You know what I realized last night? A translator can really change how you view a world leader. No, because normally I my pants when Putin speaks, but this translator just makes him sound like a Russian mean girl. Your lives must be so boring, bitch. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> for more insights on last night's interview, we turn to our very own Michelle Wolf, everybody. <laughs> What's going on, Michelle? Uh, Michelle, let's just get straight into it. What did you think about last night's interview? Oh, you know what, Trevor? Seeing someone so conniving, trying to manipulate the American public was disgusting. Yeah, you know what? I agree with you, Michelle. Vladimir Putin is a slimy person. Oh, no, no. I'm not talking about Putin. I'm talking about Megyn Kelly. Wait, wait, what, what, did, what did Megyn Kelly do? Last night on her new show, she acted like she didn't spend the last 12 years of her life as a soldier in Fox News' culture war. Listen to what she said about cable news, the place she used to call home. We've seen a lot of rude behavior in the news lately. Can I I you can yell all that you want. Please. You're the one yelling at me. Plenary. I think you should take We're a chill actually, actually bad. gonna cut your I, mic I haven't if you don't stop yet. talking. Can't we all just get along? Can't we all just get along? Oh, I'm sorry. Now we're all supposed to be friends? Now that you're NBC, you're acting all peaceful like some sort of Mahatma Blondie? <laughs> Forget. Before she was NBC News's Megyn Kelly, for over a decade she was Fox News's Megyn Kelly. Basically a pretty race-baiting puppet who Roger Ailes kept trying to put his hand up. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's on network now and he's dead. They're both in better places. <laughs> Megyn Kelly doesn't remember what Megyn Kelly was like, here's a tiny reminder. Answer. Let me explain to you how it works. I'm the anchor, you're the guest, okay? Well, you're bringing race into this. You I'm are. saying people... You clearly don't yes, know I what do. you're talking about. They you, got you can debate they whether Congressman Sherman should have did been they up get to get an this or not, Megan? but you cannot debate Megan, why won't you answer, answer my question? He is married to a Mexican but immigrant. But you sound like, with respect, Osama bin Laden. What? With, with respect. What? You don't seem to know what you're talking about. No. Jesus was a white man, too. But, you, you know, it's like, we have... He was a historical figure. I mean, that's a verifiable fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, first off, Jesus was definitely not white. I mean, he got the death penalty because one guy pointed at him. If he were white, all he'd have to say is, uh, do you know who my father is? <laughs> Harding of cable news for 12 years, breaking journalism's kneecaps over and over. And we were just the poor Nancy Kerrigans being like, why? Why? And now you expect us 
forgive you just because you made the Olympics? I don't think so, Tanya. Well, M Michelle, no, I, look, I mean, it's funny, but I think you're being a little hard on Megyn Kelly. Oh, really? Five months ago, she was part of the problem. Actually, she was the queen of the problem. Now she acts all high and mighty, saying she doesn't watch TV news and she only consumes news by print. I mean, this is like finding out Ronald McDonald only eats broccoli Rob. <laughs> and it would be one thing if Megan were owning her past, but instead she's like, who, me? Oh, I'd never watch that garbage I used to put out. Sorry, Megan, you're not the new Barbara Walters. You're that Sprint Verizon guy who just follows the money. <laughs> I'm on NBC now. Can you hear me now? Maybe you thought doing this interview with Putin would be good because he's so skilled at making journalists vanish. But, Maggie, we still see you, <laughs> Trevor. Michelle Wolf, everyone. Hello? Mr. President, how are you? Yes, of course. Oh, you want me to let people know they can watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com? Yes, of course. Yes, I know I'm fake news. All right, love you too. Bye-bye.